Dr. Angela Yu and Ko Still and also Andre, they all have web development boot camps on Udemy. So now I wonder who has the best web development boot camps and today we are doing it again you guys we are going to comparing these three courses side by side and help you to figure out what is the best one for you to purchase What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and in the past I've done a ton of videos that are recommending Udemy courses for you as a web developer and I am also a full-time web developer living in New York City. One of the reason why we're comparing them is because they are all very popular and very high rated on Udemy and there's also a lot of students are enrolling into their courses and having great amazing reviews the second reason is because their price are very similar they're all around you know twenty dollars so the last but not the least thing is the course contents the course content is so in depth but they are also very similar to each other especially if you're comparing Andre and Angela use courses side by side you'll realize they both have very similar content hopefully I'll give you the best review possible and help you to make a decision Okay, so let's take a quick look of all these courses. Just so the first thing that we wanted to look into is Andre's Master the Complete Web Developer in 2021 02 Mastery. And the first thing that I would look into is, as I promised, the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Most of the fundamental courses is very basic. So all of the basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript in Andre, Angela Yu also teach you very basic introductions of HTML. Same as Coastal. Coastal also deep dive into HTML and CSS. Now the interesting thing about Andre's course is that he actually not only talking about the basics of HTML and CSS and he also included um, the advanced HTML CSS as well as the advanced CSS and this is one of the best I would say course roadmap for CSS a lot of times I've seen um, instructors talk about CSS you know like the basic fundamentals about CSS like properties selectors all of that but I like the fact that he also including Flexbox which is super important if you're considering becoming a front-end engineer just to comparing you know Angela Yu and Andre and Coastal in this component of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, I would say that Andre did an excellent job. And I think that Coastal also did a really good job on that. But however, I feel like it's a little too much information in his web development bootcamp. I think that Andre and Angela Yu both did a really good job just to like emphasizing these important concepts as for beginners. So let's continue on the second part, which is probably one of the most important part is JavaScript. So as you can see, um, Coastal has go really deep into JavaScript basics and all of these different concepts about JavaScript. He didn't really mention about the newer version of JavaScript, which is interesting because both Angela Yu and Andre has the newer JavaScript version. As you can see for Andre's course, he spent two hours, almost three hours talking about just JavaScript basics as well as job manipulation, which by far in my opinion this is very important concept he also talked about advanced javascript you know like those very hard concepts about javascript scopes uh closures and especially i like the fact that he talks about es5 es6 and i like the fact that he talks about debugging so let's take a look at angela Yu's course right like she also did a really good job on javascript coming up with all these different challenges and also as well as you know the dom like document object models and he, she talks about out of these things that are important as understanding JavaScript to the core. Okay, now let's go into frameworks, which is probably one of the most important thing as becoming a web developer is how useful is using JavaScript framework for you to build web applications. And I think that unfortunately, Coastal does not have any React frameworks that were being taught in this web developers bootcamp 2021 
So for Angela Yu, I think that she actually talks really deep into um, React Framework and I was really impressed by how much time she's spending on talking about React Framework. As you can see, she spent, you know, eight hours and 54 minutes talking about that. That's like nine hours of content on this course. I really like the fact that she talks about um, React Hooks. So for Andre, let's take a look at his course. Um, so in his course, he also spent a lot of time talking about React. As you can see, he spent three hours on talking about React, you know, from the very beginning to more in depth about React. Especially, he also talks about React hooks, Redux, etc. Um, and I like the fact that, as you can see, he moved the Redux versions to the end of the course because nowadays I've seen more and more developers are just using React hooks instead of using Redux. So it's nice to have Redux still in the course, but not something that is as important as the other um, React concepts. So I would say that for this round, I would say both Andre and Angela Yu did a very good job of explaining React. How still did not add the React framework into his course. So if you are someone who is looking for a course that needed the JavaScript framework, something that Steel's web developer bootcamp cannot offer you. Okay, now it is important to not only just understanding the front end framework, you probably do need to understand API and also as well as back end. All of the courses, they all talk about Node.js, which is using JavaScript as a back end language. And what is stand to me is both Angela Yu and Cole Still, they talk about MongoDB, which is a NoSQL database. And for Angela Yu, she not only talk about uh, MongoDB, she also offers to talk about um, SQL. So you've got options. You have SQL and you also have no SQL. For Andre, I would say that he likes to focusing on using database as SQL and he talks about a bunch of basic SQL things. Um, something that I wish that they at least talk about is authentication. And I think that only Angela Yu has covered a part where um, she talks about authentication and security, which I think is a very interesting part of web development. So for me, I think that in this section, talking about backend, I think they all did a really good job in terms of covering, you know, REST API and also just um, a lot of the important parts of using No and Express. One thing that really stands out to me is Angela's course because she talks about not only SQL side of things, but she also covers like No SQL in her web developer bootcamp. Um, she also talks really in depth about authentications, which I thought it was very interesting and very useful. Um, so in this round, I would say that I would have to give it to Angela Yu. I think she did a very good job on explaining the back end in terms of giving the audience or the beginners the options of understanding SQL and NoSQL. The second best I would say is Andre's course, No and Express and all of that. So it was very useful as well. I really do think that through Three of them are great instructors and they provide tremendous values of creating these courses. It's not easy to create all these courses, including all of the information that you need to know as to become a web developer. If I had to be picky and if I have to choose one course to recommend to people, I need to know your personal situation and you need to give me more contacts because I think that even though Cole still didn't give you everything that you need to le learn or know, he did offer a variety of different courses for you to learn. Um, he just didn't put all of these materials into one of his course. I probably will pick Andre's course. And I think that if I were to create a course to sell on Udemy, that would probably be one of my top like roadmap that I would recommend other people to follow and learn and things that they need to learn and it's important for them. But that being said, that's just my own opinions. By saying that, I also think that Andrew Lee Yu is really good to create that entire complete web development bootcamp, especially she talks about design, which I don't think 
any of the other instructors really talked about that concept and I think that is really important too as a web developer. If you are interested in, you know, just learning different courses, make sure to check out some other Udemy courses review videos from me. Give me a thumbs up, share this video with someone else and until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Peace!